Hello Taurus, hello again and welcome back to your reading with me Jackie Hill Mainly Tarot. This will be a reading for you for the month of October. So let's get on with the reading and see what we have for you Taurus. Taurus, I did say Taurus didn't I at the beginning? <laughs> okay, let's have a look. This is a reading for Taurus. So let's have a look for October 2023. What do we have for Taurus? Okay, let's just cut the cards. Taurus. Okay, let's have a look at your cards, Taurus, see what we have. All right, your first card. Oh, lovely. You got the sun. Okay, so happiness, everything going just the way you want at this particular time. All right. The second card we have for you. Okay, so we have the three of swords. Okay, so that's in past position. So maybe recently you've got over some sort of heart, heartache, heartbreak, anything like that. All right. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so the Queen of Cups is about all about unconditional love. All right. It's about empathy, feeling very deeply, full of compassion. All right, anything like that. Good nature. Okay, so... Yeah, lovely. So that's going, uh, sorry, so that's going now. Actually, I pulled, never mind. I pull them, if whatever way I pull them, you know, it's where it, I'm being directed. All right, so beneath it all, you do have the Emperor card. All right, so very, feeling very uh, positive, very um, in control of things, I think. Uh, you're the boss, maybe, Taurus. <laughs> okay. So that's there. So let's have a look. What else do we have for Taurus? So we do have the Page of Swords. Okay, the Page of Swords is about, sorry, is about vigilance. All right, it's about vigilant, being awake, you know, being alert, paying attention to what's going on around you. Around you. It's also a card of action, okay, communication. Also some uh, news. Maybe via phone, letter or text, anything like that. So, uh, yeah, so maybe that's uh, what you're focusing on as well at the moment, is keeping your ears and eyes open and communicating as well. Okay, so your outside influence, so something outside of you, Taurus, we do have the uh, High Priestess. So this is a woman or man, doesn't matter, of knowledge and wisdom. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's see where that's going. So that's somebody in your outside, you know, your energy, somebody else you know, an outside influence. So somebody who's very knowledgeable, very wise, and uh, knows good advice as well, you know, anything like that. Could be cancelling anything. But let's have a look. Let's just see what else we get here. So I'm going to pull some clarifiers. Let's get them around the right way. I'm going to call, pull some clarifiers for you, Taurus, and see what else we have. And some of you are quite content with your family life, your love life, with that sun card. All right, getting over a difficult situation in the past where it caused you a lot of heartache. All right, getting on top of your game again with the Emperor, uh, feeling uh, more positive and content, knowing what you want and what you're doing, and especially with that Page of Swords, I think uh, nobody's, uh, I think you're quite clear and uh, analytical about things as well, analysing things and uh, researching. I get researching coming through here, especially when it comes to maybe some sort of uh, spiritual beliefs or uh, the occult, anything like that, with that eye priestess. Okay, let's cut the cards. Okay, what do we have? So clarifying the sun. Okay, we have the death card. Okay, so death card is all about change. It's about positive change. It's about not looking back, all right, because you're looking ahead uh, with a much uh, 
much matcha is there such a word as matcha <laughs> looking ahead with a much more positive attitude all right all right cutting out what well, no no especially uh, the death card here is facing the uh three of swords so we're cutting out that um hurt and heartache here you know we've, we've we're done with it okay taurus we've had enough of it and we're not you know you're sort of cutting trying to cut that sort of out of your life and not make it a uh, be too much of an interruption i think in your life okay so what cards i'm going to pull now so now i'm going to pull the uh for the three of swords three of swords okay so we have the nine of cups okay so what was once fulfilling for you no longer you know you've been quite disappointed with that and that's in the past position all right what was maybe a wish is no longer a wish for you because maybe things went pear-shaped it could be to do with love as well a relationship or it could be to do with something else it could be to do with somebody that you've lost a loved one you've lost in the family all right so that's uh, coming through as well for me so let's have a look now i'm going to look at this emperor card next okay so we do have the seven of wands yeah that is the seven is it yeah the seven of wands next with the emperor so uh really sort of standing your ground here with that emperor card you know sticking up for yourself not letting anyone get one over on you or you know getting the better of you in any way taurus uh and next let's have a look at this uh page of swords the page of swords okay the four of cups okay a card it I mean, the Four of Cups can be a card of uh, of not seeing what's being offered to you in some way. But it's also a card maybe of boredom or maybe looking into something, especially with that Page of Swords being there with this Four of Cups. So maybe you're looking at something else here in your life, you know, looking at something differently. Um, the uh, Maybe the old ways don't work for you anymore or the old you know what you look for what was your preferences you know different preferences this could be in work business or relationship you know you're looking at something uh and looking at cutting out something as well in your life anyway let's look at this queen of cups oh lovely okay so we now we have the king of cups okay so this is a future this is a lovely pairing you've got the queen and the king of cups so you, some of you could be in a really good relationship at the moment where somebody's on the same page as you they under, you understand each other you've got a really deep connection here with somebody okay all right this could be a lover partner you know husband wife friend anything whatever it is for you you have a really good connection with somebody here okay taurus um if we look at the energies coming through here we have very strong scorpio for you all right so there is a very strong scorpio energy with that death card and the king of cups and let's have a look at this outside influence here with the high priestess so with that we have the three of coins okay so the three of coins is a card so Three of coins. I'm just being made to. I haven't been doing this for a few weeks because I've been away. Um, three of coins. Let's get a picture on it. I'm thinking, well, where am I with the three of coins? The two of coins. The three of coins. Three of coins. I'm gonna pause it a minute, Taurus. Hi, I'm back. Sorry about that, Taurus. I've got my book out. Look. I completely got brain freeze there i'm being totally honest and upfront with you i really just come to a blank when that come out that three of coins uh and i just looked at it and i thought oh yeah yeah that's what it is it's a card of apprenticeship um so i think that um apart from other things you know skill corporate uh being uh teamwork planning anything like that and that with the high uh, priestess is telling me that you are that you're really sort of brushing up on your skills 
something I should be doing, I suppose, because uh, this is taking a back, the tarot for me is taking a back seat at the moment because I'm working full time, so I really haven't been sort of uh, concentrating, meditating on it at all lately, so I do apologise for that uh, mishap, but at least I'm on his say, Taurus, okay? All right, so the Three of Coins apprenticeship, and it's, I think it's something to do with uh, spiritual, your spiritual beliefs. Um, doing something really uh, that makes you, as I say, I'm getting this word, well, I know the her the hermit is some a wise person, but also the high priestess is very knowledgeable. So you're very good at what you do, especially when it comes to anything with your belief system, whether it's a religion or uh, spirituality, it could be the tarot, it could be anything like that. You know, it could be crystals, candles, you know, there's all sorts of things here. All right, so I do feel that uh, if it's not you, Taurus, it's somebody that you are connected to here. All right, that's very good at that sort of thing as well. There we go. <laughs> there's me uh, Bible, me uh, tarot Bible. Get that out in emergencies. <laughs> Okay, Taurus. Um, yeah, so lovely. So let's have a look. Um, for those of you that are interested in love, I'm going to pull a uh, oracle card now from the Soul Connections um, oracle. So let's have a look. What do we have for Taurus? Card for Taurus, and then I'm going to pull one from the Angel Answers. Okay. So any of you that are interested in love, this will be a card for you. Okay, Taurus. Have a look. Embrace. Oh, lovely. Okay, this card just popped out for you, Taurus. It says embrace, and it's embrace what destiny has in store for you. Oh, lovely. Okay, so embrace what destiny has in store for you. Especially when it comes to a connection, a love connection. All right. Okay, so let's just pull one more from the Angel Answers. So I'm going to put that with a King and Queen of uh, Cups. <laughs> that embrace, because that's lovely. And let's see what the Angel Answers have for Taurus. Let's have a look. going to pull one out in the near future all right so whatever it is you're waiting for Taurus it's going to be happening in the near future all right so whatever it is you're thinking about whatever it is your heart's desire whatever it is you really want it's in the near future okay Taurus that's lovely all right so I'll leave that with you so I'll say thank you again for listening to me and I'll be back very soon so please do take care bye Taurus